hello there welcome to this tutorial in today's tutorial we're going to be talking about how to insert beam into your Orion building design system so this is Orion so we're using Orion uh, with the Orion series so please if you've not watched our previous video please watch our previous video for we we'll learn how to insert columns so this is the structure we're using these are the number of columns we have inserted so far so i'm going to go straight to beam creating beams so this is my beam icon so as i rove on it you see this beam so i'm going to click on it and this box pops up so we said label this is the label of the beam because each beam has to be labeled as one two we have the type of beam the type so we say is it supported ban or is it rigid i'm going to say normal so i'm going to go to this box here which is this my b so i have the beam the width of the beam this first one here that is highlighted is the width of the beam so the width of my beam which is going to be i'll also as the width of this wall so my wall is 225 because it's a story building so i'm using 225 millimeters because millimeters is marked here so that's millimeters so now the beam how do you want the beam to be positioned on this particular grid lines so these are grid lines for the structure so how do you want it to be positioned so i'm going to click on this if you want it to be positioned outside the grid uh, from the grid to the beam also so i want my beam to the grid to be at the center of my beam so i'm going to go the center of my beam so you can see 225 if you divide 225 into 2 by 2 this is what you will get so you get 112.5 so which is the middle so to the left has to be 112 so this is the middle of the the the, the grid here so the beam is going to be on this wall and this grid is going to be at the middle of the beam so now this is the depth of the beam which is my h bolt so it's the depth of the beam so i'm going to make it 225 also now if you want to make this you can decide to make this one the depth to be uh, any number you want but this i'm going to make it 225 by 225 beam is what i want to do since the story building so as you can see my cursor becomes a very big square and a plus which indicates that my command is uh, on for this beam property so i'm going to move this a little bit away so that you can see what we are going to do so i'm going to click anywhere and zoom so it's working now so you can see so i'm i'm going to start inserting my beams from left to right then you can choose whichever way you want because well, i'm doing this because i want my beams like this to be beam one this can become so it goes on and on like that then i'm going to come back from the top to the bottom that is how i'm going to insert my beam so i'm going to right left click sorry so i'm going to left click on the middle of this my make sure it's at the center so i'm going to left click hold my mouse key down the left click button down and pull so as i pull you see as I pull you can see this line is dragged and following me so I'm going to drop it at the middle of this column also so you can see so this little box pops up so it helps me I'm going to move it away because we have talked about this in our previous tutorial so I'm going to click yes I want it to be saved so that pops up every 10 10 minutes so I want it to be saved saved so now you can see this is now my beam so the my grid is at the middle of my beam so i have one b1 which indicates this beam is on story one and is beam one and it has a width of 225 and a depth of 225 so that's what this uh, means so this is beam one and this is this is on story one so beam one so now from here to here is taken as a beam which is beam one so this one is not going to be on story one beam two so this place from here to here is now 
beam 2 so because the span here is different from the span here so this one if I am doing it for this so it's going to change from this also so I'm going to go again please follow the sequence zoom in properly to get the center of this grid which is the column so I'm going to left click hold my mouse key down pull away from it and pull to this other side so I'm going to to release my mouse key so you can see this one now is now beam 3 and this one is now beam 4 so it goes on and on like that so I'm going to just make the next one now if you don't want this your beam to cross to this other side I'm going to make it also so you can see it so this now I don't want this beam to cross to this other side to, to rest on this other wall here so I'm going to left click as we used to do please so I'm going to left click I'm going to pull and stop it on this particular column so because I, I want this to become a panel so I'm going to just go ahead to the next one so I'm going to left click I'm going to pull the way this one I want to cross to this other side so I'm going to drop it here so I'm going to go to this other one so I'm going to left click also pull away so you can see I is one I'm going to drop it here so I'm going to go to this other end now this beam is very very long to this other side so I'm going to zoom out I'm going to zoom out and make sure it's at the center I'm going to click I'm going to pull to this other side now you if let me zoom in so that you can see what I'm doing so this beam is now beam 14 now from here to here is one beam now from here to here is one beam from here to here now anywhere there is a column it, the beam will change so this is beam 10 this is 11 this is 12 and this is uh, 13 and this is 14 so you can see from this column to this column is a separate beam now I'm going to go over from my I'm going to insert this way so I'm going to come from the top to the bottom so I'm going to left click hold my mouse key down make sure it's at the middle so I'm going to pull away so this is done also this is now you can see 15 that is our last one was was um was 14 so this one is now 15 so this will be 16 17 so from column to column is a beam span now from here to here is a span so from here to here is span from here to here is a span so that is how it goes so it labels every span as a different uh, uh, beam per se so I'm going to come to this other side so I'm going to look at it pull away and make it drop there so I'm going to okay I'm going to insert a beam here so I'm going to drop it here to make sure the panel does not get too too big so I'm going to come to this other one this also is long hold your mouse left mouse key down pull away to this column make sure it's on the column head so you drop it and it comes out I'm going to also do for this pull away I'm going to go to this one also I'm going to make it so I'm going to make this one and I'm going to make this one too so I've not done this I'm going to do for this pull it down hold my mouse key down and I'm going to hold this and pull it also so you you see how the whole building has beams all over on it now uh, I'm going to make sure these beams are inserted in a very orderly manner now you can see from this to this becomes a panel this to this becomes a panel and it goes on and on and on and on like that so that is how it goes so I have a beam here so I'm going to put a beam here drop it there so this one becomes a, pound, a 
a panel this becomes a panel and this becomes a panel and all of this becomes uh, their own individual panel so when we are trying to design our slabs we will now know that this is a slab and this is a slab this is a slab and all, all of that so this is how to insert now if you can this part now you see being here so we have let me pull down so that you can see so we have 43 beams 43 beams which are there which is the span from here to here is a span so we have 43 span on this story one so we have 43 span so this individual so that is how the beams uh are on this particular structure so i've done with this so i'm going to just click on this xbox to make it go away so you can edit a beam if you want so you can just highlight it now this is highlighted you can then right click go to properties now it's back you can change this property if you want now let me make this one to become 450 beam just for tutorial for you to see then click on update you can see i'm gonna move this away so click you can it becomes 450 but i don't want like beam so i'm going to undo so it goes back to two to five for the beams now is it on how to insert beams on your structure